We each have a human being. It's that person we thought we were. That's our human being. We take it with us, with us wherever we go. <laughs> so from that point of highest origin, we then look down, you might say, upon this human being through which we express and embody our, ourselves. And then we're in the position to say, I am that I am. I, that is me in expression. That human being is my human being. That is my love. That is my love that he is expressing. It's ultimately not his. It's my love, mine, the origin of all being. My human being is expressing my love. That's my life he is living. The life that I give to him. I am that I am. That being on earth. that flow of knowing, that flow of wisdom and intelligence and inspiration. I am that I am, being that. That is my flow, that is my intelligence. I am that I am. We see ourselves from that transcendent viewpoint. And from that viewpoint, we have the opportunity to become intimate with our humanity. I believe we're all in a process of that. The human sense of self and the reality of being have become estranged. That is our human crisis. The estrangement of the sense of self of a human being and of all people. And then the very essence of selfhood in being has become estranged. And so as being, we are coming to know, we're becoming intimate with our humanity and all its hurt places and all its pain, all its ignorance. And we could own it and say, oh, my ignorance, I'm getting to know my ignorance. And my ignorance is turned to light in my intimacy with it. As I enter, as my truth enters this human being's mind, and I see my own unknowingness, my own not knowing, it's turned to light. As I see my own smallness, my own fear, I become intimate with it. I enter it. I enter my own heart. My love is now in my heart, loving this human being and through this human being, loving the world. I believe that all of us, all human beings, walk around with the pain of being seen as merely human the pain of people who are living at some place less than the highest point as seeing us the same way. And we ourselves are somewhere on that scale awakening to the one that we are and living with the projections of the world around us. And you might say becoming intimate with those projections, are we not? The experience of human family can be like that. Like not being seen by your family. Anybody else have ever have an experience of that? It happens, it happens. And yet we're here to be intimate with that unknowing. And in that way, we light up our field with knowing. 
And we say, yes, I see, I understand. And if there's forgiveness to be passed around, I forgive. And I am the one voice, the one spirit. I am that I am, that one voice, that one reality that's within us all. <clears throat> 